I've come to meet Richard from the crop department here at NPL. He's going to introduce us to this revolutionary 3D crop scanning technology that's been developed to tackle concerns for future global food supply. There's a really interesting statistic that in just 50 years' time, we'd need 70% more food to feed the growing population that of the world. Much. And so how are you going to do that? Our approach is to look at using 3D imaging technology so that we can image what's growing in fields and help seed growers and plant growers come up with the next variety of plant. We're just observing plants in their total natural habitat and picking out the ones that have the best yield and they're also more tolerable to disease and drought. We're just helping to find the best crops and have the best nutritional value for people. So can I see how it works now? Absolutely. Let's step you in here and pretend you're a crop in the middle. <laughs> Now you're now surrounded by four uh -huh. imaging technologies. These all send out lasers and capture the scene within this frame in three dimensions. Can I see it working? Yeah, let's scan some of this wheat. Right, should we get this moving? OK, so we're going to scan past uh -huh. just one metre of the crop. Perfect, that'll do. What am I looking at now? So we can see all the crops here, even see some of the people and even trees off in the distance. That's so cool. This data is then processed on a more powerful computer in the lab. So you can see we've got the wheat right down to individual grains. We can see incredible detail there. And here's the data centre where we can now take that information, post-process it, proving benefits to the farmers. They can take that data, make some decisions about their crops or their plants and move on from that. This technology will provide farmers with far more data than they've ever had before. It can be used to see in detail how their crops are growing. They can get rid of disease, know when the crops need water or fertiliser, and know exactly when to harvest. They want to know how much is in each field and how much is growing, how much is ready next week. What do I need to do to make it ready for next week if there's a greater demand from, let's say, a supermarket? It helps the farmer to really control the process of supply and maximise what they get from the field. It's not just farmers that benefit, but the consumer too. As our climate changes and growing conditions become more challenging, the price of food is set to increase. This technology developed by Richard's team will help our crops to grow and keep the cost of food down. So we can help develop crops that are more tolerant of harsh environments and, and changeable weather. We can keep the cost low, which is really key for, for the globe. 